Hi, and welcome to the next video in our series, Upgrading with Data Center. In this video, we'll take you through how to upgrade a Bitbucket instance using rolling upgrades. If you aren't familiar with rolling upgrades, you can check out the first video in our series where we highlight this feature along with the benefits of using it regularly. To use rolling upgrades, you need to be running Bitbucket 7.9 or later and running in a multi-node environment. I wanna pause here for a moment. Rolling upgrades does require you to be running in a cluster-ready environment. This means that your infrastructure is capable of running at least two nodes. However, you do not need to be actively running multiple nodes on a day-to-day -day basis. For the purposes of this video, we're going to upgrade Bitbucket 7.9 to Bitbucket 7.9.1 or the latest bug fix at the time of this recording. Our instance is deployed on AWS using our quick start templates, running on a Postgres database, and currently running on one node. If you're interested in learning more about our templates, the link will be below. All right, let's dive in. Before any type of upgrade, it's important that you do a bit of planning to make sure it's successful. First, you should review the release notes for the version you're upgrading to. The release notes will provide you with a list of fixes. Next, open your console and navigate to the administration menu and select plan your upgrade. The pre-planning upgrade feature or PUP as we like to call it, walks you through all the steps needed to successfully upgrade your instance. It also recommends the next version you should upgrade to and runs a health check. This health check makes sure you're running a supported database, your license is up to date, you're running a supported version of JDK or JRE, and your database is using the correct collation. This only runs if you're using MySQL or Microsoft SQL Server. If you'd like more information on the health check that was run, you can go to troubleshooting and support tools. You'll also wanna verify that your apps are compatible. Select Manage Apps and scroll down to the Bitbucket Update Check to check the compatibility of your Marketplace apps. Select the version you wanna to upgrade to and click Check. If you have an app that isn't compatible with the version you're upgrading to, you can disable an app temporarily while you upgrade. Compatibility information for Atlassian Labs and other free apps is often not available immediately after a new release. In many cases, the app will still work, so give it a try in a test site before upgrading in production. After you've run all of your health checks, you'll want to work with your IT team and schedule the rolling upgrade with them. Make sure that they aren't doing any app installs or upgrades as you're doing your rolling upgrade. You'll then want to back up Bitbucket. If you're interested in learning more about how to back up your instance or how to build a backup strategy, see the resources below. Lastly, if you haven't already, set up a staging environment to ensure that you can test your upgrade without impacting your teams in production. After you've finished the last few stages of planning, return back to your instance. Navigate to General Configurations, and rolling upgrades. Then select the upgrade mode toggle. Since we're running our Bitbucket instance on AWS, we need to find all of the current application nodes in our stack. We will need the IDs for the last step of the upgrade process. In the AWS console, go to Services, CloudFormation, and select your deployment stack. Expand the Resources dropdown and look for the cluster node group. Then click its physical ID. This will take you to a page showing the auto-scaling group details of your application nodes. In the auto-scaling group details, click on the Instances tab. Note all of the instance IDs listed here. You'll be terminating them at a later step. Next, you need to update your CloudFormation template. Because your deployment uses a CloudFormation template to define the components in your environment, you will need to update the version of the template that you're using. At this stage in the process, We'll also add an additional node to the cluster temporarily. Go to Services and CloudFormation, and then select your deployment stack. In the Stack Details screen, click Update Stack. From the Select Template screen, select Use Current Template and click Next. Set the version parameter to the version you're upgrading to. Since this is a rolling upgrade, you can only set this to a later bug fix version. Next, add an extra node to your cluster. This will ensure that your cluster won't have a shortage of nodes during the upgrade. To do this, increase the value of the maximum number of cluster nodes and minimum number of cluster nodes parameters by one. 
select Next. Click through the next pages and then apply the changes by using the Update button. After updating the stack, you will have one extra node already running the new Bitbucket version. With upgrade mode enabled, that node will be allowed to join the cluster and start work. Your other nodes won't be upgraded yet. As soon as the first upgraded node joins the cluster, your cluster status will transition to mixed. This means that you won't be able to disable upgrade mode until all nodes are running the same version. Once the new upgraded node is running in an active state, you can start upgrading another node. To do this, you need to shut down and terminate the node. AWS will then replace the node with a new one, running the upgraded version of Bitbucket. To terminate a node, go to Services and EC2. From there, click Running Instances. Next, look for the instance IDs you noted earlier in the upgrade process and select Instance State and Terminate. Click through to terminate the instance. Note, this can take a few minutes while the nodes are terminated and a new one is fully initialized. Once all of your nodes are active and running the same upgraded version, return to your instance and select Finalize Upgrade to complete the rolling upgrade. This button is only available when all nodes are running the upgraded version. Since we added a node as a replacement for each one we terminated to make sure that we could handle our user traffic, we can now remove the node since the upgrade has been completed. Return to the AWS console and go to Services and CloudFormation. Then select your deployment stack to view its stack details. In the Stack Details screen, click Update Stack. From the Select Template screen, select Use Current Template and select Next. Decrease the value of the maximum number of cluster nodes and minimum number of cluster nodes parameters by one and click Next. Click through the next few pages and then apply the change using the Update button. Congratulations, we've successfully upgraded to Bitbucket 7.9.1 using rolling upgrades. For more information on how to use rolling upgrades or instructions on how to use it in other environments, check out our documentation. You can find the link in the resource box below. If you're interested in testing rolling upgrades, download a free trial license today.